Hey you guys, Dangerous Thing here. Welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. And today I'm bringing you an episode that will show you what a little tiny change in the strategy can do for you in terms of success of your attack. So look at that. I just got uh, raided by one player and then I was able to defend my base. And actually both of those were exact same troop combo. So both players here, the Oxus and the other player whose name I can't read, uh, actually use an exact same combo. Now a small difference to consider here of course is that one of them is coming in with level 15 tanks and level 7 medics which certainly is a lot better than level 9 tanks and level 2 medics. But now let's take a quick peek at what they decide to do in terms of strategy and how they differ and why one uh, is successful and another one ends up leaving with nothing but losses. So let's take a look at the first attack here which was a success and I'm just gonna go at one times the speed because I feel like it's really not that long and it just really helps you to clearly see you know what he had in mind so first and foremost he takes out my shock blaster which is sitting right behind my boom cannon and then uh, he takes out one of the boom cannons right by the shore and I'm assuming that's where he's going to land and that's exactly what's happening so at this point he's sort of nicely outside of the range of the boom cannon and the cannon here is not going to be a huge issue uh, because the tanks are going to take it out now he shocks the shock launcher and then uh, flares his troops to the right corner right over here by my production buildings by my gold um, by my uh, gold mines, not gold mines, I forgot, forgot what they're called in Boom Beach. Thinking of Clash of Clans right now. Okay, so next thing to do, of course, you gotta take out that shock, uh, uh, shock launcher and he does just that. Then he heals up his troops and they go ahead and take out the second shock launcher, which is going to make the world of the difference because, you know, that'll really let the troops to just roll down the base and nothing is going to stop it. Now, the few um, rocket launchers that I have on the base are actually not gonna make all that much of a difference. I mean, these are level 15 tanks and level seven medics so they can patch up the tanks no problem at all and of course the only few things that can stop it are shock blaster shock launcher in combination with other defenses and of course anything cannons so he is going to go ahead and now start working on that cannon and he took that out the cannon was right by the HQ at this point as you can see I don't have any of the boom mines on the right side of the base and he's just gonna roll through take everything out the only thing that he's getting hit up with are rocket launchers and that is really not gonna do a single thing to him so he's just gonna form a formation right by the HQ at like three o'clock and is going to take my HQ down and of course walk away with a ton of gold a lot of wood and iron and of course rock so this is how the first uh, opponent of mine approached the attack and let's go ahead and take a quick peek at how uh, the other player approached my base and basically why he walked away empty-handed. All right, so let's go ahead and hop back into my replace and let's take a look at the defense. Um, so I got five diamonds and one uh, Intel uh, task force. So let's go ahead and replay this. Now, you know he's going in with the exact same combo. He's doing the exact same thing in the beginning. He's taking out the rocket, uh, the shock blaster. And uh, I thought that, you know, okay, the shock blaster is out. He's gonna take out one of the boom cannons by the shore, but that's not how he chose to spend his GBE. I think he might've been a little bit concerned about the GBE and he wanted to deploy all of his tanks and medics first. You know, tanks cause GBE to deploy. And so he deploys them and then he starts to uh, take down cannons and boom cannons by the shore now the timing was a little bit off there so by the time his tanks were you know narrowing down on the cannon on the boom cannon the cannon was actually hitting up one of his tanks which means that now medics are spreading out and trying to heal that tank up so now he is taking a different path instead of going right he is going left on my base and that is actually where I thought he made a huge mistake because you know whichever way you go if you're going left that's where all of my well, not all but a few of my boom mines are and in order for you to roll close to HQ you're gonna have to do something about those boom mines whether it is dropping your critters and taking care of boom mines that way whether it's dropping a barrage you know trying to take out the cannon and the boom cannon and kind of hoping that it's also gonna take care of the um, 
of the uh, boom, boom mines as well. Um, one or the other, you were spending GBE, and look at that. He just threw a barrage to try to take care of one of the boom cannons right by the HQ. And in case you guys haven't noticed, check that out. My boom cannons are looking pretty darn sweet. I am now at level 10, and I'm pretty stoked. I'm really thrilled to continue to upgrade them. And not to mention, they look like 10 times sexier when they're level 10 versus level 9. So here he is trying to make his way to the HQ now. And look at that, I still have a boom cannon, I still have a cannon. He has not taken out the shock launcher that's right in the middle of my base. Well, more so to the right of the base, not exactly symmetrical in the middle. But the shock launcher is actually hitting up uh, his tanks. So, you know, there's a shock launcher and of course rocket launchers. And now he's getting hit up by two rocket launchers. He throws critters to try to take out that boom cannon, but there's not a chance because of course critters get zapped by um, by the um, close by uh, flamethrower and so by the time you know he decides that he's gonna leave he only has two of his medics left to run for the shore so a few things there you know were technically not very well done you know he definitely probably should have taken out one of the uh, boom cannons by the shore before he deployed instead of deploying first and then using the GBE but who am I here to say this is just me looking back at it and saying you know I think it could have been done better um, so these were the two of my most recent attacks and defenses uh, and now let's go ahead and jump in and see a few of the uh, NPC bases that recently appeared on my map. I told you guys in the previous episode of major fail on uh, target practice that I, uh, you know, and of course uh, shock, surprise shock, that I am trying to uh, find the best way to go ahead and take out rocket rain. So I've tried one combo here. Oh, and by the way, I need to collect my reward here for gear up, gear factory. Let's go ahead and grab them diamonds. So I tried a curious little combo over here. Let's go into my attacks and let's look at the rocket rain over here. Um, the combo that I tried was, as you can see, grenadiers, um, zookas and heavy. So let me show you what I did here and my logic behind it. And I feel like it was actually recommended by a few people. I can't quite remember who recommended it. But first thing I did is I dropped the Grenadiers. And I didn't have medics here, but I thought that that's going to do me well anyway. So I basically deployed Grenadiers so that they can take out a few of the defenses by the shore. And of course take out the, um, the mines as well. And then I dropped Critters. Uh, so that um, I can sort of distract the attention of rocket launchers and rocket launchers took the bait They turned around and they started zapping the critters and during that time My lovely grenadiers were able to take out a few of defenses by the shore now Of course the rocket launchers are back and turned around and looking at me So this is where I'm going to deploy my remaining troops if you remember guys I actually had a few boats of heavies and a few boats of Zooka. So I'm gonna wait just another second until the flamethrower is out and then we are going to go ahead and get closer to the HQ. I'm gonna deploy my heavies. Heavies are gonna go in front of um, in front of my grenadiers because of course you know grenadiers heavies and zookas have different range so therefore they will form a, a cool little formation of heavies first zookas after and grenadiers all behind them i actually lost a lot of my zookas as you will see they got zapped super quickly but the combination essentially worked for me because heavies absorb a lot of the damage a lot of the shock from rocket launchers and then zookas and uh, grenadiers helped me to take it down so i'm gonna go ahead and practice it a few more times and if i can get better to where i lose fewer zookas because as you can see i lost um, quite a few of them i lost six out of ten zookas i'm gonna practice it a little bit more to make sure that i get it to an optimal point where i can walk away with zero cash or maybe just a few casualties and then i will share it with you just like i did with surprise shock and hopefully we can we can come up with a five step uh, tutorial on how to take out rocket rain with minimum casualties. So I hope you enjoyed this video you guys. I will see you next time in the TF video and let me know if you have any requests in comments below for this video. Until next time, DT is out.